Get asked you for your profile. You don't start That's by okay. saying, I have a master's in entrepreneurship. No. Yeah, I said no. When GIZ asks you to send your profile, you start with the number of years experience you have and the number of people you manage. All the proposals that I send for, 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 for the adult, you sell yourself. So you need to have a, a sales brochure, your self, your personality. The same applies to your business. So your business, when I ask you, how are you going to sell? I'm expecting you to discuss how you plan, organize, lead, control. So you can't just you can't say I'm coming to run a sales promotion when you have not planned the sales. Sales have to be planned. Your business, anytime you are going, anytime you want to put something on your status, plan. So it's not about what you want to post, it's what the customer is interested in hearing. So always make sure that anytime you want to sell a commodity, no matter what you want to sell, you plan. Sales goes with planning, whether it's a product or a service. So when you are typing your LinkedIn profile, you are selling yourself. So the key words that will prompt people to know you are there. So if I go online and type certain keywords for salon, will it, will it come to you? Will your name appear? That's a key question you need to ask yourself. So we need to focus on the fact that we need to sell. And your sales force, people you work with, have to be engaged in activities that satisfy the organization and individuals. Objectives. So people come to you because of this. When a customer comes to you, the customer has expectations. How many of you are using an iPhone? I like you, I like you. <laughs> you, know, you hug everybody this morning. You hug all the ladies here. You don't tell us. You don't tell us. I like you telling somebody I don't have a China for me. Yes, I know. I'll change next year. You see, when the things are coming, when Peter, when the things came to Peter's garden, <laughs> <laughs> then he saw some so apple back up. And he said, This is the guy. <laughs> when they left Peter's garden, he came to my car and he saw China. But this is always super. So the thief plan, and at least in Peter's bag, when they open Peter's passport, they think, Jemano, Milano, Spain, Spain. When they open me, Zano, 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 Sell. Even you have, you sell yourself. So, Peter, how do you introduce yourself? 
So they say, Peter, who are you? What will you say? I start by my name and what I do. So that your name is not important. Mm -hmm. so, some people come for you and you. Why are you here? If I'm here. <laughs> How about you want that to pay you? Any amount of what you give me, no? <laughs> and also, when they start talking about their hard skill, your hard skill is the certificate. Not somebody with Peter. Who are you? The person knows your name. The person has your CV. He says, Peter, who are you? <laughs> it's an opportunity for you to sell yourself. So, Peter, who are you? No, Peter has not done anything. I like you. Who are you? I know. Having women. I like who are you? You enter into your room. You are going for an interview. You already have your CV. You already have your application letter. When you enter, they say, who are you? You know your name already. They see everything. So they say, who are you? What will you tell them? Um, I'll start some on the web. I'm a business development and this and what I'm doing. That is a position. Uh -huh. Don't start talking about your position. Okay. Your position comes last. Talk about your experience. I know how to develop business proposals, how businesses to be able to come into touch with the current trends in the industry. I have over six, seven years industry experience. That is what you are selling yourself. So you are selling the projects that the design territory. So most of you are managers. Don't go and shout to everybody. You don't need So if the pharmacy cannot be selling that for everybody, how many working clients do you get? The number of working clients should tell you that there is a community that you Everybody, everybody loves bread. This territory is designed by you. This territory has your taste and preferences. I was telling somebody that there are certain industries when they call me to come and do training, I won't go because I don't have the expertise. They are not part of my design territories. Let me tell you, if I go to design a territory to speak to, there are territories.
So this morning, somebody sent me a video. He took a video of me and sent it to me. What I need to do? So come back. Uh -huh. So now I need to develop a skill apart from developing a business plan to reviewing, proofreading, practicalizing a business plan. <laughs> So I didn't realize that the skills are moving because of globalization. Yeah. Because of globalization, you need to think. And everything is by design. So what's new skills do you know? Secondly, you should learn how to sell because the product life cycle is becoming shorter. Have you noticed iPhone is giving you data that they are going to release the next one? <laughs> Can you imagine? But which one? Of this month, September. Of this month. September. September. <laughs> you know what he's trying to do? He's raising your expectations. All right, you start saving money for the 12. Please. You. Let people postpone programs they want to do because of you. Because you are not available. When people do a document, let them wait and show it to you. For you to proofread. Because you have eyes for this. Another skill you need is to be particular to detail. Don't just read you. Very particular. And that has to be very deliberate. In me, the VC will call me. I need you to do this. I said, okay. So now I prepare my VC speech. When is going to be? Do you know why? My VC was going for a program and he sent me the slides. I could have said it's okay. The fact that the VC sent me the slides, I won't send it back to you the same. I sent it to myself. I packed my car. Wait for, now there are a lot of online tools. There are a lot. I want to redesign the slides he sent to me. Some of you say you are arrogant. And I tell you, when you present it this way, it will help. Now, anytime my business is going somewhere. Now the investor will touch our guru. <laughs> oh, yes. Because anything he sends me, I will work on it. He said he said it. To me. So my business here is a politician. If one document you send to three people, one document you send to three people. And tell you the time to send it back to him. The person who sends it first and it's well done, you are the person you choose. That's how it works. I'm saying I was driving. He said, Why are you? So I have left campus. He said, Can you work on this for me? I need this in 10 minutes. I said, Yes, please. When I opened up, I just read through and said, There's no correction. I made it order to that's what they did. But when I packed the car, I put it in the software. He changes the car, he changes the, he changes the tone, the tone was very professional, everything. Do you know the way I talk, eh? When you say it in Google, Google can tell you exactly how you can talk to children, the same tone, but different way you can use it. So I, I, I gave you the professional way. Now, anything say, I have sent you Andrews. My dear boy brought me to the list and the list will go, hey, your dean is always coming here to support you. That is the level you should be there. Now, I will, I'm, I'm, I'm going for promotion. I won't take you to my dean. We want to take it to him, we'll take you to the DC. So now I'll take you to the DC and they will call him, then they will promote him. That's how you position yourself. I'm saying that there is increasing power which you can get if you know how to sell yourself. That's all. Don't say me as a you are quiet. Nobody say you are quiet. You don't know how to talk. Because your vocal image is low. Don't you meet people, the only discussion they have are unnecessary things. And you meet people to when they talk, you want to listen. The politician said, don't you have people when they are talking, you want to listen to them? Mm -hmm. When you are going to bath, you open the television. And there are some other people, like, uh, you know, uh, when you start talking, you want to change the channel. You know, so you want to change the channel. <laughs> so now, the only way of selling is that the customer now wants you to add value. The customer wants you to talk. So the customer don't want to just buy. So you are new fan, eh? Whatever you are, it is not for you. It's for customer who wants to be satisfied. They are pharmacy. The same thing. You are shopping more, eh? It's the same thing. It's not about you. Your school. The students coming to your school, they will leave. If they are not satisfied, if they are not solving their problem. Listen, don't you have people drive all the way from North and bring their children to your school? Uh, in fact, uh, this year, we have the toughest time. Everybody wants to send their kids to our school. Why? And we have a lot well, because of the standard we set. It's not the standard we set. Standard is you one. are solving solving problem. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, right. You are because you of the solution I give them. Ah, you think that people come to me? I just get them. No, they watch you. They do investigation. They want to come bring their children to you. 
to for them to be disciplined. They have a problem. They can't take care of them. And they believe five hours, six hours, and they will leave. So the people are coming because of it. The people are eating your bread because of something. People don't just want to. Please don't go home and sleep. Ask yourself the way you are working. What's the name? Mark, Mark, Mark. You think this kind of work is that? Successful entrepreneurs presently in McKinney. Less than three years. No, in this current trend, in this current trend, the way we the trend to. Okay, now. Hold on. Let's talk this. Don't ever use the word is the most successful. One of the no. Do you know why? Do you know how to determine success? Have you been to him? So I, the fact that he's playing music, do you know what he goes it's through? It's not just the music. Hold on. Have you seen his account? No. I'm asking a question. Have you seen his account? So let me give you an example. Talk out of my That's not an answer. It's somebody I know. Thank so you. don't say, I have not seen her account. Yes. There's a company, you can type A1 bread. You can type them, they are in A1 bread. Hello, hello. <laughs> A1 Bread is one of the most successful bread companies in Ghana. I used to say that a lot until I went to do training for them. 
the man has a lot of money, receive apples. I think Fisher in income. Wow. Uh, money goes out. out. People are owing. Mm -hmm. For years, they've not paid. But I don't need them. And he's not producing. Is he successful? No. You see the question I'm asking you? The, the man? Yes, I'm asking you, the, the guy in Ghana. Oh. When you read about him online, for him, those are receivable show. Receivables are not common. The artificial income. So let me give you another example. So there's this guy who, who rents cars in Ghana. He rents cars. His model is who, who, why you rent cars here? Why what do people come for? People rent cars for what? Do you rent cars here? Yes. 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 For traveling, yes. weddings, 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 weddings yeah. visitation, vacation, vacation, vacation projects. Thank you. You said it's not what? Thank you. So one of our students in Ghana, he has nice cars. And he's telling me that if there's no wedding, and we're having a wedding season, so a lot of activities are down. So what will you do? I said, why don't you position your car business for people who have lifestyle? You know people have lifestyle? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll And then he started. Currently, people rent the car on Sunday morning. People rent his cars when they are going to meetings to show off. Do you understand that the customer takes a breakfast are changed? Mm -hmm. But when you enter his garage and you see the cars he rents, you think he's rich. He told me this car has been parked for three months, nobody has rented it before. Is it not cost with him? <laughs> but when you see his website, you think he's a Dodger Motors. You think he's the most successful car in that company is not. He's not. So the success in an industry is not determined by what we see. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. And when people come out, they show everything that they are well, they have nothing. And I, I, that's why I ask you, how many years has it been? Because yesterday, for example, they were telling me that APEX want to bounce back. When APEX bounce back, what happens to them? They all. That's the question. So I've slept in Royale, I've slept in other hotels. What APEX that, they want to uh, zoom that, that, and they give me water every day. Yeah. They give me meal and milk every day. And they change my towel every day. Yeah, yeah. Yes, this. Yesterday yes, when I went to the gym, I didn't have a towel. They gave me a towel. You, you, do you know why I'm talking about it? Apparently they went down, right? Yes. And this is how they are trying to get us on. So now, when I come back, I want to see. They have yes, when I was talking to somebody at the gym, the person was telling me that they come there because of the gym. These Lebanese guys. Mm -hmm. They come there because of the gym. And when they come, they buy water. Buy me. What I want you to understand is that a business success takes time. Mm -hmm. It's a plan. Mm -hmm. I'm saying this so that when you go somewhere, you go to another successful company, and then when you go and check, you realize that they are not. So that we don't want to be like them. Mm -hmm. Ask me. How do you determine the success of a company or an individual? It's based on a lot of factors. Mm -hmm. One. Oh, one of the checklists is the person's ability to, 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 to have a different investment oh, no, no, no. That, that diversification is risky so so the person should be able to hold on should have oh <laughs> so the country is radio then do you have uh, import in case all the world is blocked do you have stock available chief you as you sit here no, no. for one year if you are not doing anything can you fix your yourself? no i'm asking your question for one year, if nothing is coming into you, your success determines on your ability. I'm sure some of you, the government has not paid you by now. You've been calling. You're very happy. That means you are not still there. Secondly, your success will be determined by the future needs that you are solving. Because there are companies in Ghana, one of them is Malcolm. At the point in time, they told the customers to come and do exactly what they have been doing. They are not doing anything. Okay? Yes, yeah. And then they're telling what are yes? Yes, um, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. before this time, where is my own knowledge? Ah, boy. Um, I think if people determine for us here, especially for the people in the you see they, they publish their financial statements. Huh? Yeah. And after public.
attention mm -hmm. there. You see people judging them that this bank is making profit, mm -hmm. this bank is the most successful bank. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when they they blow their financial statement mm -hmm. to the eyes of the public. Mm -hmm. And we think it is not the reality. Exactly. Yeah, because people don't want to show up. They have given me so, so another way for you to be determine your success is having a, a plan on where you are and where you want to be. So you understand that your business plan should not be static. Your business plan has to be reviewed every six months. Your business plan has to be reviewed every six months. It cannot be the, you can have a projection. I think the projection for the phage in Ghana, uh, farmers, uh, exports, Farmers, agriculture export promotions of this federation of agriculture phase. They did a five year strategic plan. What they're trying to do is that every six months we have to review it because things are changing. Every six months you need a new partner to be able to grow. Are you getting what I'm saying? And then the other political factor that may just change you. That may change your success. So these are all macro and then the micro environmental factors that you need to do. Yes. And the banks normally do that. So there's a bank in Canada invested in Golden Tulip. Golden Tulip is close to the airport. They invested in the Golden Tulip Hotel, 5,000. Everybody was excited. <coughs> For the past six months, Golden Tulip has not been able to sell one. Wow. 5,000, right? Ah, you, you've been there, right? No, Kevin's been there. You slept there? That is why. You see, Kevin, yeah. when you sleep there, that's how you walk. <laughs> Those of you are not sleeping, can this going down to class. <laughs> have you noticed how you get this? <laughs> can is a safe. Ah, can Pisky on Val's Day, eh? If you go to Val's Day for dinner in Can Pisky, eh? It's $10,000. Valentine's Day, if you want to sleep over. And the room gets full. Yeah. People organize where this year also. Yeah. A lot of people, a lot of people from Nigeria. It's on the fourth or fifth floor for their food. Exactly. They, they, listen to him. Mm hmm. <laughs> and you know who owns the Pisky Hotel? The, the king of Thailand. The king of Thailand came to Ghana and said, the hotels are those bad. Oh, and he wow. saw Kobein Pin. He said Kobein Pin is Ghana. And he bought that place and built it. So we yeah. go there always visit them there. It's one of the most profitable hotels in Ghana. Even them. Even them. When you look at their books, they sell more on food. In restaurants and conferences, but if you have to go and sleep there, you know, me when I said I didn't want to wake up. <laughs> when you get to money, I was sad, I have to leave. And you know how, you know, people drive there to come and eat? <laughs> and you see, you saw the fish. <laughs> <laughs> anything you wanted to. Wow. So, Sandy, <laughs> so when I take one of us. <laughs> Did you see how it works? <laughs> Don't you see how it works? <laughs> Don't you see poverty around me? I'm I carry something on my head in here. <laughs> so I only go to Kempiski if I have an eye and client who wants to do a job so that I will raise my level. Mm. And when I go to Kempiski, I always have my water. You know how they sell water there? Eh? Kempiski imports water. They import water. But that is another one. You see, they are quite as well. They are in the city. They are on the ceremonial route. That's why if Ghana is hosting anything, that's why they take the president. So <laughs> some of the president, like Victoria Guinea president, he comes at the same time. Ah. Oh, then, you can go there and tell you that today protocol. We get there. But you see the environment. It's not like a crowd. It doesn't smell. <laughs> but I'll be there. For that call, the president wants to spend time with his face. Oh, another king build instead of building something that we compete with. Why would you use this The Thailand, 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 they have some relationship with Ghana. So there are a lot of them always come. And they always feel they have privacy at KPC. But KPC now, we initially when they, they were charging, we thought they wouldn't be able to survive. Currently, now I see why your country is succeeding. Why? That, you know, we just talked about uh, the tax, mm -hmm. taxes they impose on. But it's not the best, because if you are a foreigner, for instance, if you come to Ghana, ensure that you are a Australian citizen, you want to set up a company in Ghana, government give you special rates. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Automatically. The tax I will pay for my business, you won't pay half. 
If you yeah, prove to the government of Ghana that you are going to employ more than 10 Ghanaians to work with you, your tax will go down. So you, get what I mean? so you chief, if you come to Ghana and you enter the registration and say, I'm a Sierra Leone, and they'll take you to the free zones board. That place, government has built offices you are going to use. All that government of Ghana is pleading with you is to employ Ghanaians, employ Ghanaians, employ them. When you show that you pay Andrews and other 10 people, your tax will reduce. Your tax rebate is there. Wow. You enjoy tax holidays. When you employ something through the courts, that's why a lot of people are coming to old offices like uh, Twitter. Why didn't they know yes, it? Why didn't they know? Because the moment, and so even Ghana, so if I'm in Ghana and I have an issue with you, you'll be treated first. Yes. Ah. That's what people are complaining now. If I have an issue with a Nigerian, government will give the Nigerian full respect. Why? Because it's a blind man, yes. And it's creating yes. Right. Yes, so, so you for instance, when you come, government will encourage you to invest some money in Ghana. Don't go. If you want to bring, so now the Chinese people, when they are doing construction, instead of bringing Chinese people, government has stopped. So now they will take Ghanaians to China to train them. But they said the Ghanaian workers are very easy. And then they bring them. So that's what government is saying. They help some way. So you see people coming. Oh, I, there are a lot of Chinese I meet. They even also have room up. Even in your own the president, when they come, they will have most of them. Trying to get them to come back, but they are very comfortable. Nothing discriminates you. When you get to the hotel and you are a foreigner, they will treat you for the hotel of peace. Let's take a look. He is our guest. That's how we say Aqua. <laughs> Nobody will change. Initially, it's your opposite. So, have you seen the CD cards, eh? the diplomatic cards? The more than this, you employ your number plate changes. You understand what I'm saying? Your number plate. The more, cards. so you will move from your status as a foreigner to like a diplomat, a mini diplomat. Wow. Because you're employing Ghanaians. Oh, yeah. You have a high unemployment rate. So, Peter can come to Ghana and be my boss. Peter Lassan. <laughs> oh yes. If you ask money, you invest in Ghana. For example, if you invest in the cocoa sector, you have killed the government. Hmm. If you invest in cocoa, oh, you kill the government. Mm -hmm. Whatever tax you pay, everything government will help you. You get a lot of this. But me, the way I pay. So, so the husband will delete you if you don't retain them. You have to do this. Don't so leave the credit union. He said, you don't solve your problem. Exactly. Because government cannot employ everybody. So anybody who comes and you are even employed like 10 people, government will give you a discount. A discount, yeah. Somebody is even sending that part of the time. So the first place I went to the school, they are full on that thing. Hey, this guy. <laughs> you, are, you are showing my poverty. There are places I guess pass. Next <laughs> up. When I'm passing through Marath. <laughs> so Marath organizes garden weddings. Mm -hmm. Garden. So they have a pastor. If you want to do a quick wedding, right? You go there, garden. <laughs> you know, big wedding. It's not important. No, not when they are doing wedding, it's not important. They will, they will search you. They will search you. They will search you, they will search you before. Yeah. If you step up, if you step up, they will shut everything. Everything. Everything they will search. You don't see cocos, you don't see mosquitoes. All the mosquitoes are in my house, they are not in the hotel. You can't guess it. Hey, they have an ambulance there. Eh? When you go to the hotel, they come. They come. Go to other hotels. When you go there, you are coffee too much. Let's <laughs> continue. So, remember that you can't do sales on your own. You always have people who you'll be working with. You can't do sales on your own. So, so, so one of your sales persons is this background. Instagram is doing yourselves. So how do you structure the messages you put on Instagram? How? How do you structure it? If you are putting a message on your WhatsApp, do you read, do you go through the content before? Or you just post? You don't just post, eh? Because sometimes you confuse the customer. So when you are talking about sales, you are alone, you are an entrepreneur. See those channels as sales points for your business, okay? So this is what we call the business model canvas. You know it already. But the, this part of the business model canvas is where we talk about commission and business strategy. 
your customer segment, your customer relationship. So anytime you take the canvas, there's that part that talks about what am I said. Everything about that part is about sales. Everything concerning that part is about sales. So the question I want to ask is that what is the difference between the business strategy and the sales strategy? Have you talked about it? We talk about business strategy and sales strategy. What's the difference? A business should have a strategy. But the same business should also have a sales strategy. The sales strategy is compared to business strategy. Exactly. Business strategy is holistic. Exactly. And the sales is under the business strategy. But you realize that the sales strategy wants retail. It shows more details for the sales strategy. Mm -hmm. So in the business strategy, like what he said, there should be sales strategy, but the sales strategy is driven by the objectives of the business strategy. Mm -hmm. So for instance, companies don't compete at the company level. You can't say that AfriCell is competing with Orange. That's why you are talking about company competition. That's doesn't pop in like that. Africell competes with Orange on certain products and services. Are you listening? Mm -hmm. Africell competes with Orange on pricing. Africell competes with Orange on connectivity. Africell competes with, uh, on charges. I don't want you to say uh, Africell is competing. No, no, no. Civic Bank is not competing with Ecobank. No. Well, you have this understanding, you understand why a business strategy is different from a sales strategy. But the business strategy, the sales strategy is embedded by what is it? So Zidic Bank and Echo Bank compete on certain things. They don't compete with names. So when you are reading the bank statement, check whether the profitability is based on what? Is it loans? Is it asset driven or what? There are certain banks that have invested so much, so they are doing well. They are not giving loans, but they are just doing investments. So when you see, oh, they are very profitable, they are not giving loans. Mm -hmm. And other people too tell you that their loans are current, those who work in the bank. All their loans are current. When you go and do audit, is that not what you see? You see people telling you that their loans are in stock. Everything is in stock. And they will just put the value of the stock. So when I was I used to work at UBA, there's this guy who brings computers into the country. And UBA was always quoted that we were giving them loans. They didn't want to inspect all the boxes that were there. There were no computers in it. They were, the, the boxes are there. They were still there. They were empty. And UBA was always boasting that we were making a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's going to be something. Do you have any questions? So a sales strategy is the translation of business and marketing strategy. At the level, so always remember that at the business level, you need to develop the market level to get to the customer. So you must not just say that this is what the company wants to do. No. What is the sales strategy of the company? So how is Unimark going to get students? Unimark as an institution is a university. So Unimark should draw a sales strategy based on the kind of courses they offer. And how they will be able to attract students. So my university, we sat down and said, when I joined five years ago, we had 16,000 students. So the VC said, how can I attract more students? Wow. So we said, let's, so five years ago, 16,000 students. So we started with a strategy. How do you get to the university in Ghana unless you go through secondary school? When people want to go to the university, when, where do they take the decision? Is it when they are in the SS1, SS2, SS3, or when their results come? It's a question. When their results come. When results are out. Secondly, when the school the children have to go, who takes the decision? To so see the students or the parents? Most of the Now, are you aware that the remedial schools are also going a lot of students? Yeah. So what is the other option? So UPSC took the decision, my university took the decision. One of the things that I told them is that why don't we host a remedial school at our place? So when you finish university, you may apply to Unimark. You have not passed. I will give you an admission letter for mm -hmm. you to go to the remedial school. Where is the remedial school? At UPSC. Yes. Yes. No, but they run it where? Yeah, media. So at UPSC, we have a building there. Eh? 
when you be coming to the university, but you are a remedial student. Yeah, yeah. Our fellow students of this year is 23,000. And our BC is saying that by 2026, we want us to be 40,000. We are actually going to set up a big remedial school. And whether you like it or students will fail. And we started running diploma courses. When you finish SSC and you don't pass, you have to make a rewrite again. My good years will offer you a diploma course for two years. When you pass, you go straight to the degree. Yeah. For UPSC, it's a taking straight thing. So now yeah. we are employing less stress. Yeah. You have to do it. 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 You what I'm saying is that over here, you go and receive your Hello, hello, hello. What I'm saying is that over here, you go and receive your Yes, In Ghana, you have to go and receive your students. But in terms of professional studies, I've given you another way. You go to the SSC for how many years? Four years or three years? Three years. Three years. When you come to the University of Professional Studies, you say, well, I should go back to rewrite, to receive. You say, don't worry. I'll offer you a diploma course, which you have to pass in two years. When you go to the university, you start from year two. Two years, year one. Is it, the result, is it based on um, your, the year two? Is it based on your results? Year two? You, know, you, go year two you go to year two based on your results. Yeah, if you don't do well, you start from year one. Yeah, someone someone has passed. You're starting from year one. Oh, the one that has credit is from year two. The one that's yeah. excellent was from year two also. Everybody from year two, if you pass, yeah. if you don't pass, you start from uh, year, one. Uh, year one. All I'm trying to say is that what we wanted to achieve as part of our strategy is to get students. And he said, we students. Not just yes. that, but you are also helping them to go to university. Thank yeah. you. And then now, at our diploma courses, that's why you ask the TBS issue. Yeah. As our, when you are doing the diploma, realize that not everybody wants to go to the university. So that people are coming to UPS just to do a diploma course and leave. Or they need those skills to be able to go and work. What I'm trying to say is that there are so many ways you can sell, but I always move from the company level. Those of you who are doing farms. You are doing it at the business level. Don't try to finish and say that I produce cooking, but so I'm going to sell. If you don't have a sales strategy, don't ever do that. Don't say, oh, because this is my farm. So, chief, in your community, if I'm doing business, is what is there. If you are producing rice, let them focus on the production of rice. All you need is that. What is the sales strategy? Because the only way you can get them to be motivated is by selling. So why don't you create green cages for them? No, why would I produce rice that I have to eat alone with my family? Once I can produce more to say I've created and done this, never get that price. Unless they come and work under you. They are not working under you, but the pricing is controlled by a higher authority. Because as for them, anybody I talk about to the farm and give them any money, but that time they are hungry, what would they do? Thank you. So, I don't know whether it makes sense. Mm -hmm. So the petty traders got this of that. He's the one on monitoring one day and we met him on the ice. He went he normally carries like this blue barrel. It is money. And the chief has made it a point that you only buy at this price. Initially, they were selling because they are hungry. You know, sometimes your stomach determines how much money you want to get. Yeah. <laughs> and they were teaching the so just think about it. So move them from the business level. Let them produce whatever they want to produce. And use your authority to, to develop sales mm -hmm. for them. Okay? So you need to develop a sales strategy. So what, what kind of relationship do you want to have with your customers? What is the value proposition? And what is the customer buying behavior? Customers are buying from you. What is their behavior? Understand that there are still customers that are interested in uh, uh, 
Because it's not And customers are price sensitive. Some of the customers, even when they come to the pharmacy, they want you to cut the, the tablet. Every day they walk and come and take paracetamol. And then, yes, they are, they are not price sensitive. But when the customer wants to buy from you, the customer needs to be aware mm -hmm. before exception. But his bread used to be very big and very soft. <laughs> we used to have it here in Sierra Leone, J1 exactly. bread. And his business model yeah. works. <laughs> but every now and then he keeps telling me that and somebody else will be doing something. Yeah. Somebody will be doing that. Somebody will be doing that. Somebody will be doing that. No, uh, no. You know, honestly, when I started my own business in Kabbalah, I was 100% focused on the category. So there was a time, you know, especially in the events, of the volume for the cost for his bread you will be able to get that one at least two or three people will be able to eat that Thank particular you. Hold, on, hold on hold on but it's long yes and when you take you drink a lot of water you should, you should know why you are doing it they do not have sugar Yes. Ah, uh -huh. that's one. So that, hey, I said check in one bread. Because when I spoke to the A1 bread guy, he said this is this is long. This sustains people and people's eyes. Because it's long. <laughs> Your eyes tell them that it feels them. Because it's what? Long. 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 You you don't like it. You don't like the bread. You know why? <laughs> because one, the other bread you have tasted, but that long bread does something to your body, which you cannot explain. But you also ask yourself, why are people preferring that bread? So you are liking it because people like it. No, it's one. No, it's one. And if you are producing bread, then customers are buying more of that particular bread. You, as the owner, you should also like it. If you don't like it, will you produce it? So, Yes. Uh, and people like it because it, it gives it. Yes. When it's long, it fits into their bag. It, it, it's, it's long. Yeah. yeah. You like, like it. I want to be a, a bit differ towards uh -huh. a, a, the reason for the bread. Uh -huh. So for me, I see it as a culture, especially the Soso, the Madingo, the Fulas. They do like those type of bread because the the the, the side of the bread, how how could I say it's strong and it's brown. Yes, they just like it. All of, uh, I will not say all fullers, but majority of the fullers, the soso, the madingo, that is just the bread they will eat. Yeah, in Sierra Leone. But you realize that because of cultural, mm -hmm. social issues, they mm -hmm. play a role. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Uh, they play a role. Customer taste and preferences. What determines a customer taste can be political. Mm -hmm. What determines the customer taste can be social. What determines the customer taste can be cultural issues. Mm -hmm. For instance, the paste I use at home mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to brush my teeth. 
I've been using it because that was what my parents were using. When I grew up, I started going to the dentist and I realized that it was causing a lot of havoc. I'm supposed to use powdered paste. You know powdered paste? I have changed it. So when my children were growing up, they let me know, you didn't understand why the father uses a powder paste. So sometimes they will just go and put it on his face because it feels his powder. Until I took him to the hospital and they said, oh, no, 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 it's done with the forest. Uh, that's where I'm coming from. You know when the boss are chasing you, they spoil everything about you. So <laughs> that's let's take five minutes. Let's take five minutes. <laughs> but that bread is always not to sustain, eh? Yeah. When you think it's sustained for a lot of time, when you have the Je vais me it was our second step of food. But now people don't like it. Mm, people are not going in for it again. They are not making it uh, good. I tell you. Thank <laughs> you. 